What's up everyone, Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to be talking about gated synths. Yes, I am. So, let's get right into it. In front of me, I am looking at the ES2 synthesizer inside of Logic Pro 9. Now, what's really cool about this is we can do some awesome stuff with it. And included in that is the vectorizing. Now, I went over vectorizing in the ES2 a very long time ago. It's probably one of my first tutorials I've ever made. And uh, it, it was quite informative. And we're going to be doing something along those lines today. All right. Now, what I have here is just a preset um, in the ES2. It's called the Everlasting. It's going to sound like this. All right. So pretty cool. Pretty best. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a gated synth, all right? So first, what I want you to do is click this vector tab down here underneath the router, and you're going to see this bar. This is going to be the vectorizing bar, and then you're going to be using the uh, grid up here, all right? So I'm going to right-click on this line, and I'm going to select um, either 8-8 eight, eight or 16-16 16, 16 loop. Um, to make it easy, we're going to click 8-8, eight, eight, all right? So and this pops up, all right? And so what happens is, from the beginning to the end, this is going to be a stretch of time. That stretch of time is going to be set by us. We can do that later. All right. But what's going to happen is, we can change parameters of the synth over this course period of time in increments of 8, All right. like I set when I right-clicked on it. All right. So what I can do is I can select each one of these points and set an X and a Y um, on this uh, grid. All right, and we can select the X target and the Y target. In this case, uh, gated synth is all about volume, high volume, low volume. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to sl select the amplifier and increase the intensity up to one. I'm going to leave the X target target totally off, so we're just going to be using Y up and down. All right, and so this is what's going to happen. If I hit solo and I select this first point, I can press uh, a key on the keyboard and move this vector up and down, and you'll see what happens. All right, so now we can easily map volume of that key. All right, so if I unclick solo and go through, I can uh, manually for each point on this line select the intensity of the amplifier. All right, and so as I finish this up, it's gonna just finish this up, just finish it up, and we're done. All right, so let's see what it sounds like. Pretty annoying and not that great, all right? But like I said before, we can set the amount of time that this loop can repeat itself. And we can do that right down here in the sync loop rate, all right? Now I'm going to select, I don't know, something like a fourth or something. We can play with it a little bit here. Let's see what this sounds like. Alright, so we can easily speed it up and it sound it starts to sound like a really cool gated synth. Alright, so and you can play with it and do whatever you want with it, but here this is the basic idea to how to build gated synths inside of the ES2. Now this isn't the only way of doing it. There's also ways of using side chaining, you know, side chaining a certain synth that only hits on the spots that you don't want um, another synth to be doing. It's it's difficult and it's slightly stupid, but um it's very, it's much more customized than it is here. And that's the only reason you would want to do that, all right? Another thing I found in the ES2 is that it's hard to sync up in time. Some, somewhere in the wiring, the software of this plugin, um, the syncing isn't perfect, I guess, if is what I'm trying to get to. And uh, I mean, it happens with the actual, when you do use dubstep with this ES2, and even here when I'm using vectorizing to, to, to do gated synths. All right, so um, take that for what it's worth. Um, you might want to try some side chaining um, and see where you can get with that. So uh, everyone, thanks for watching. If you have comments on this video or others that I have done, please shoot me a message or just hit me up in the comments, whatever. Now, if you have uh, suggestions on future videos, I do have a, for, a forum, no, not a forum, like a checklist, I guess, of uh, tutorials that I will be doing in the future. But you just get to choose which one I do first, all right? So pretty cool. Um, I will post a link to that in the description. So please comment, rate, subscribe like a freaking best. And I will be seeing y'all very soon. Peace out.